everyone. Um, welcome to the reading. This is the extended version of the daily collective that I did. Um, so if that's what you were looking for, then you have found it. <laughs> and welcome. My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. Um, thank you for checking out the reading and the channel. I appreciate it a lot. And if you feel called to like and subscribe for me, I would appreciate that a lot very much. Would I say? I'd appreciate that very much as well. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do an extended reading because I wanted to see what this opportunity is. Like with the Four of Cups here, the universe is trying to give you something, but you're like, no. But this opportunity, whatever it is, it would afford you this Empress energy, male or female. The Empress is very abundant. Things flow naturally to them. You wouldn't have to work so hard. There's something here about you needing to rest. So I don't know if you've been working very hard all by yourself for a long time. Uh, the Empress plus the Four of Swords equals rest and peace. That's what this opportunity would afford you. But you're a little stuck um, with the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is like holding yourself back or undervaluing what you can do. The Queen of Wands is very, very powerful, very confident, gets a lot of attention, very warm energy. People really like them, usually some kind of leadership energy, running your own company, uh, being the boss at work, having an online presence, something like that, writing a book. But you can see all the cards. You're, you, it's like you don't want to let anyone in. Because there was something in the past here with the Five of Swords, which could be one person or multiple people. It could be narcissists. It could be mind, um, you know, mind games, uh, manipulation. Something happened that caused you an awful lot of anxiety and sleepless nights and overthinking. And with the Three of Cups, that can be friends, family, or romance. Tell me about this Four of Cups. The Strength card. I don't like that card, it's four. <laughs> Tell me about this Four of Cups. Six of Wands. Okay. Six of Wands plus Queen of Wands means being in the spotlight, becoming noticed for your work. Being some kind of leader. That's what they want you to do. I don't know if this is something that you, I don't know if you're undervaluing yourself, like you think you can't do it or you just don't want to. Um, but that's what they want you to do. Also appears that there could be love coming in. Tell me about this Four of Cups. And tell me about the Six of Wands, actually. through here six of swords with the ace of swords so you see you've been dealing with the five of swords but this is a breakthrough like two sixes means moving into harmony um, moving out of chaos moving away from chaotic people chaotic energies chaotic situations I think you had to be really defensive in the past because you have the seven of wands with the seven of swords I, I think you've You've dealt with a lot of shit, basically, in the past. Like, people could have lied. You didn't see it. Also, there's something to do with, like, dealing with these people or this person, and maybe you didn't see it at first. You know, rose-colored glasses, because you're a nice person, right? Trying to see the best in people, but someone lied or misrepresented themselves, or a bunch of people did. I'm kind of feeling like, for at least some of you, that's family. Um, or like a group of friends, could be predominantly like women. Um, for some of you, there could have been like a little gang of women. But it's, it's made you defensive because you have to be. You have three sevens here. 
you've been on some kind of hiatus, like you've been in a healing phase, like healing from all the stuff that went down. But basically what they're saying now is it's time for the, that part of your life is, is over. Like the healing phase, I mean, the, the healing never stops. It's always going to go on. But the big chunk <laughs> of time that you had to be by yourself to heal is now over. You are ready. You have the magician here with the six of wands. You are ready for this, like this leadership position, whatever it is, to step out into the spotlight, to be seen, to take the boss, you know, the boss job, to start your own company, whatever it is. Okay, tell me about the Six of Wands. Okay. You also have an Emperor trying to come in here. So you have the Empress and the Emperor. So there's also a person. If you're looking for love, this would be your divine match, your divine partner. Um, if you're not looking for love, think of it like a bestie or maybe a work partner, someone that's on your level. But this person is totally different than everyone you've dealt with in the past with the Ace of Swords. This person will bring in like a whole new phase of happiness for you. You've never had happiness like you would have with this person, okay? It's time now, you have the Six of Swords with the Justice card. It's time now for you to experience the other side of life. Because you've experienced this, the Five of Pentacles, where you were left out in the cold. I kind of feel like this is, there's someone watching that was like screwed over by their family or something. Or by a woman, uh, like a mother or sister or something. In addition to other people, I'm sure, <laughs> screwed you over too. I'm sure there was some men in there as well. But there's something about being left out in the cold. It might be your mum or a mother figure. And it put you in this Queen of Swords energy, you know, where you feel like you have to always be on guard, basically. Um, but they, this is horrible. What you went through is horrible. So now it makes you feel, there's an energy of this, like, don't come near me, don't come near me. Because um, there's an energy of like, but I, I, I just know you're going to screw me over because you know, I've dealt with so many snakes and you're an unknown quantity. So I think that's dealing with like any kind of new person that's coming into your life. But they, they want you to know that that phase is over. It was done to put you into this queen or king of wands energy where you were very powerful and strong because you're obviously supposed to use it. You're supposed to be in, you know, in charge of something. But now it's time for you to experience the happiness. The other side of life. Yeah, the sun. Looks like you're meant to be seen as well <laughs> when you have the sun, the six of wands, the queen of wands. That's all about being seen because you've done a lot, you've learned a lot of lessons here with the magician. Like you've been around the block. <laughs> um, you've learned the lesson, you, you know, you, you have what you need. You two have manifested each other as well. This person that's coming in, this emperor or the empress, whoever you deal with, um, you guys manifested each other. Yeah. Okay, what else? The three of pentacles. Um, this person that's coming in, I'm going to call them the emperor, but if you deal with girls, you know, just call it an empress, okay? Call them an empress. <laughs> it. Um, they're very, very stable. The emperor energy is very stable. Um, you could meet them through your pentacles. You can meet them through work. You can meet them through some kind of community, some kind of group setting, like an evening class, an online thing, school, you know, university, um, something like that. You guys might work together in the future. Right. You have the nine of wands. You've been through a hell of a lot, but that's over. Spirit wants you to know that's over. Okay. There could have been a Taurus in particular as well. 
but you know, <laughs> really screwed you over. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's see if they'll tell you what this Four of Cups is. If you're really, really tired, it's almost being done, like if you feel like you're not getting a break at work <clears throat> or something like that, it's almost like it's being done so that you'll step into this leadership thing because it you'll get more time off, basically. You'll do less work for more money. Some of you guys are going to be some kind of motivational speaker. Like literally you might be on stage or you might have an online presence or you might write a book or you might tour, you know, like go to classrooms. I'm seeing someone like tell about their experiences to children in classrooms or something. Or, you know, like guests lecturing at things, maybe not necessarily on stage, but like smaller groups. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Look how resistant you are. <laughs> okay, your psychic gifts are heightening. Interesting. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Going on a trip or holiday. This uh, new person that's coming in, there's something, they don't live where you live. So you'll meet them when you go away or when they go on holiday to, I don't know, your country or your state, um, or you guys meet when you're on holiday or you meet them online or something, something. <laughs> so you'll be going on a wee trip to see this person or they'll be coming to see you. Um, there's something very, uh, like, important about the trip. When you take this trip, that that's it that leads to the new part of your life basically you know even if it's like i don't know say it's a friend or something something about going on this trip with this person changes the way that you're thinking about things or something like that so some of you guys are going to be some kind of counselor as well um tell me about this four of cups the, the universe is literally like off, like they're handing this to you. Tell me about this Four of Cups. Some of you guys are going to be Reiki. Reiki practitioner. For some of you, it's something to do with like your psychic gifts in general, which is obviously pretty vague, but <laughs> um, you've been learning to put yourself first. I think that's been a hard lesson for you. Like, you're learning to put yourself into this empress energy where it's like my health comes first. I don't have to work myself into the ground to please other people. So I, I feel like you've had to really fight off people that have like come for you. Maybe people always wanted things from you or they always felt like you should be giving to them. And you finally had to be like, oh my God, get away from me. <laughs> like, and just keep yourself by yourself for a long time. So you being in this Empress energy and learning to rest is difficult for you. Okay. There's a situation that you're dealing with that's going to resolve itself. I don't know what this is. There's something that weighs heavy on your mind. That will resolve itself so be at peace is what they're saying things are gonna get easier now you've really been through a hell of a time but they just keep saying it's gonna get easier now what is this four of cups or the six of wands you know you're also um, you may have been resisting your psychic gifts heightening because maybe you're a little angry with spirit or something and they're like, hey, meditate so we can, like, you know, bond and shit. And you're like, I don't want to. <laughs> uh, tell me about the Six of Wands. 
A lot of changes will happen at once. Okay. It feels almost like as soon as you step into this role, like, I can't click my hands at the moment. Um, like, things change. There's a breakthrough. So it could be that as soon as you decide to do this thing, it will take off or you'll be noticed for it quickly. Or, you know, as soon as you start applying for jobs that are managerial or something, it, things change quick. And then it's like you meet this person. So maybe you go on holiday, you know, maybe you get some money and then you go on holiday and you meet them or something like that. But there's some kind of connection between you stepping into this role and meeting this new person. Um, tell me about the six of wands. Stop feeling guilty for resting. <laughs> you and this new person, you both feel guilty for resting. I think that's one of the reasons you guys have manifested each other, because you're very similar. There's a pregnancy here, okay? Now, take that if it resonates. I know that won't be for everyone, but... There could be a pregnancy here in your future. Where do I want to put this? Here? There's a pregnancy somewhere. You you might, uh, like in the future, you might get pregnant on holiday or when you go on a trip or something. If that's the case, you'll have someone to, to help you with it, okay? To look after you, like this person's not gonna go anywhere. And your, your sacral chakra is opening. So in the future, I have no idea how long this reading is. Um, you, you've had to very, especially this is for the, the ladies watching particularly, look, healing the mother wound, yeah. This is for men and women, but particularly for the ladies, okay? Um, but for men and women, okay? You've had to be in this Queen of Wands energy, but for the ladies, I think you've had to be in a masculine energy for a long time. Like you've had to do a lot yourself. You may have had a lot of people asking you to do stuff for them too. Um, but there's something about like in the future, you're more able to be in your feminine energy because of this person partly, partly because you step into this new role where you're getting more time off and more rest and you're valuing yourself more. You're like your sacral chakra opens and you can rest more. And that's actually what, like if you've been struggling to have children or something like that, um, that's, or like, you know, I don't know, something to do with children. Like the sacral chakra being closed in a woman can, it can be difficult for a child to come. Okay, and it's because there's been a mother wound. Okay, there's some kind of mother wound that's being healed or has been healed so that a child could come into the picture. Okay, um, and your sacral chakra is going to be open. So, like for my ladies watching, you'll be, you know, this person will allow you to like be more in your feminine energy. Okay, there's something with your mum for some of you, anyway. Only take that if it resonates, but there's something about you not trusting people because of your mother. Uh, let's get a couple more. Stop worrying and overthinking. So in the, um, very soon in the future, you're just going to be feeling a lot happier. You're going to be getting a lot more rest if you choose to step into this role, this leadership role. You'll just, you'll just be a lot happier. You won't be worrying. You won't be overthinking. You'll be getting time for rest. What is the Six of Wands? Yeah, you've been doing a lot of shadow work here, okay? You've been through a lot. <laughs> I'm just going, I'm going to go ahead and say it. You've been through a lot. And now you're going to teach other people how to, to do it as well. Yeah, some of you guys are going to be a manifestation coach. Showing people how to, you know, people think of manifestation and they think money, right? You do have money. Look, you're going to make a lot of abundance through this. Uh, also, the person that's coming in has a lot of abundance as well. Okay, so, I don't know, they're probably going to take you on a holiday or something. But, um, like, people think of manifestation and they think of money. But I prefer to think of manifestation as, like, manifesting the life that you want. So, 
peace <laughs> for you. Maybe this would be peace, harmony, uh, having someone in your life that loves you and treats you properly, starting a family, um, becoming more confident, getting yourself out of toxic situations, you know? If you've been through a lot of shit, you will naturally be an overthinker because you'll be in survival mode all the time. So that's something else that's moving out of your life, okay? But, you know, you've manifested love, you've manifested abundance, so you're going to show people how to do this. You're going to be an inspiration to a lot of people. Um, and, yeah, this is the last card. Some of you guys might start a podcast as well, okay? Um... Some of you are going to do something hands-on, I don't know, Reiki, um, some other form of healing, but you're going to reconcile pieces of people together, like, I don't know, just, I don't know, chakra work, Reiki, soul retrieval, um, things like this. There's been some kind of toxic shame for you. That you've been carrying around around like being in the spotlight or being seen or people people valuing you that often comes from uh, an issue with the mother or the sacral chakra okay because if the sacral if there's an issue with the mother um it blocks the sacral chakra and the sacral chakra is linked to chronic toxic shame okay so you may just have shame around yourself in general that you're being that's you know, like, I have no worth, I have no value, I'm no good, why would people want to listen to me, right? That's what's being removed. Um, there's also a book in your future. This new person may help you write the book or they may encourage you to write the book and you have new beginnings coming in with the sun, so you're going to be very happy. But it does involve, you got to step into that leadership role, okay? That's the key. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the reading. I have no idea how long it is. Hopefully it's not too long. Many thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I appreciate that a lot. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings, uh, love and light. Take care.